environment and climate change. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, to member across the way of the questions. Uh, there's money available right now going through the uh, mitigation, I believe, the federal and provincial. Some of the examples he uses across the province, for example, uh, <clears throat> are true, they're real. We will be attacking those and identifying them as we have been. Regarding the assessments across the province, just for an update, uh, member, the government's committed to completing a province-wide risk assessment. And having said that, work on this action plan has begun. The staff have been meeting with other jurisdictions to learn about their experiences from CARICAT through to other parts of the province. You mentioned the Hughes family as well. I believe they moved recently. It is terrible when you lose your home, the water's coming down the stream, the banks give way, and uh, it doesn't hold up like it used to. It's important to understand that although we have a complete provincial risk assessment, and uh, a lot of work's gone into this, ad adaptation is always in the forefront, and for future mitigation too, to make plans for future development uh, in the flood areas as well, to identify those, because climate change is here, <laughs> and it's not going to get any better in the very near future, so we need to Five adapt minutes, and be ready for it.